I love the library. I'm I'm about to head out. I just gotta put on a little bit more gloss. Also, I kind of stall when I go out by myself because I have social anxiety. I'm just gonna go out by myself. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go out. I'm ready and cute for my date, you know, try to look cute for that special someone it's me but yeah i'm just gonna go take myself out i'm gonna go to the library i lost my library card which i'm kind of sad about but i lost my library card so i'm gonna just get a new one and then see if they'll let me check out a book the same day i get the card um i don't know how it works i haven't been to the library in like two or three years so We'll see how that goes. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna face my fears of taking my camera out in public. So, yeah, yeah. let's go do it. Goodbye. Okay, Alright, I'm here at the library. If you guys can see that, that's the library. And then that's the whole park. Um, but, yeah. Kind of stalling because uh, still a little nervous. <laughs> There's a lot of cars in this parking lot, which I wasn't expecting, but yeah. I'm literally the type of person like I'm gonna go to if I'm going out by myself, I'll go to that place when it opens so that I could avoid the most amount of people. I'm gonna get a library card and see if I could check out some books. <sighs> okay, let's do this. That was such a good time. I forgot how much I like spending time at the library. It was so quiet, so peaceful. I kind of felt like a little bit bad because um, <laughs> when I was turning on my camera and recording, it kept making sounds. So I was like hiding it in my jacket so it wouldn't make noise. But <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. I love the library. I'm gonna go there more often. Um, and uh, I had to get a new library card. Let me show you guys. <laughs> this is my library card. So, yeah. Got a new one, and I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to go there more often. Um, and let me just show you guys what books I got. First, let me just take off my jacket because 
<sighs> but yeah, I could spend hours in there. Um, first, I was in the nonfiction section because I do want to educate myself on stuff that actually happened. So I was just curious. It was my first time in there in a while. So I was like, let me see what's up in there. I went into the nonfiction and I found Dante's Inferno. And I actually have this at home. Um, but it's the it's the version that has no cliff notes so the version of Dante's Inferno that I was reading at home I actually had no clue what the fuck it was saying like I could not understand or comprehend the book so I stopped reading it but then I found this one and it looks so cool number one and two it actually has cliff notes and cliff notes especially in old um, English literature it basically translates all the words so it has like Shakespearean type language, but at the bottom it explains everything that it said. So I got this version of Dante's Inferno, which I'm so grateful for. So I got that. And then I got this book, just something to read in between Dante's Inferno that's not too serious. And I just got the Penny Pinchers Club, and this book looks so interesting because, um, it's about this girl who finds out her husband is cheating. And she's also a shopaholic, so she prepares for the divorce by saving money. And in her saving money, she finds that time is money. And she wants to spend more time with the people she loves, overspending. So it's just a very interesting concept. As someone who loves to shop, this seems like a really fun book. So I got that one. And then, because I'm also currently learning Spanish... Um, I got this book in Spanish. I actually have no idea what this word means, but I saw the word meditation in here in Spanish. It says inspiration and meditation. <laughs> um, so I just got this. It's really small, just also some things to read, you know, um, to make my Spanish game way more fluent. So, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> I honestly think you should go and get a library card, support your local libraries. I was actually listening to a motivation podcast while I was working out. They said that in the video, only 3% of people own a library card. And I think, I thought that's really cool, you know? Be part of that 3%. Um, so yeah, support your local library, always continue to educate yourself. I think reading is a really good way to exercise your brain, and it's just really peaceful. I don't know, you can really read anywhere you want, and that can also be peaceful. Like, you know, go to the park, go to the beach, go to the forest, read. It's kind of like meditating, because that's really all you're doing, and focusing your brain. I think that's really great. Um, so yeah, I would say date, date with myself, 10 out of 10, I really love the library, this was a fun experience, and yeah, I think, oh, I gotta go actually run a couple errands real quick, so we could go do that, uh, the other day I was painting and drawing, and I was like, I kinda wanna do this high, but I'm still on my tolerance break, so, I was like, you know what, I could drink and paint, isn't that a thing, you know, people drink and paint at the same time, I don't know, I've never done it, so maybe it'll be fun, although, as you could tell from my last video, you guys know I hate drinking, but, I mean, who knows, I've never tried drinking and painting, so that might be fun, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Bevmo real quick, grab drinks, if they're open, it's, I don't think they're open yet. But so I specifically went to this library, because there's a lot of libraries in SF. Uh, but I went to this one because Gellert Park is a park I used to go to as a kid. And, I don't know, it's very nostalgic for me. I remember being in the kids section and sitting on this stuffed dinosaur. Um, and reading. And also, I would rent VHS clips of VeggieTales from there and I would pop that in my VHS player at home. I don't know. I just really love that library. It's very nostalgic for me. So, And all the workers at that library were so nice. <laughs> so I had a good experience there. 10 out of 10. And I'll hit y'all when we are in Bevmo. Chew a man. 
that knows how to make steak. I feel like everybody can. Oh, my hair. Why does my hair look like that? But yeah. I feel like everybody can cook a steak. Look at these Ikea cookies. They're so bomb. Look at it, look at it. They're like jelly filled and cream filled. Fucking Swedish people. They're like pretty. What's that girl say? Creative. Fucking mint. <laughs> Pretty, fucking man, fucking, fucking TikTok be cringy. A Spanish book. Do you know what this word means? I got it only because it was thin and I just wanted to start small. It's okay if you don't. I got Google Translate. I know what the other ones are. What? Meditation? <laughs> Inspiration and medication. Oh, medication? I thought that said meditation. Medication guy. Medi medication, okay. To live with love and... Happiness. Oh, okay. I still fuck with it, so that's cool. And then guess what this is? Daniel already knows I've been reading this, so guess what it is? Dante's Inferno. Yeah. Whoa. And it's crazy how you could tell that from the fucking cover. And I touched it. I didn't know what it was. Look at the the sign. I haven't even seen it too. Right? I was like, this is oh. dope. Whoa. Okay, now I want to reread it. Right? And it has cliff notes, so it, it translates everything. Because the one your brother let me borrow um, doesn't have translation, so I okay. can't understand it. I swear it did, no? Maybe at the end. Look but at that the doesn't... End. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't fucking... Yeah. This is very good. Whoa. So Dude. I got I got this version of Dante's Inferno. I want to read that one. Okay. Okay.